All right, guys, uh, this is my 2007 Toyota Tacoma that I bought uh, about two years ago. It has very high mileage, 380,000 when I bought it. It's about 390 and a bit of change there now. Um, it's well used and abused. Um, soon after I bought it, the famous recall came out about the frame. I uh, went down to the local Toyota dealership and they put $16,000 worth of work into this truck. This truck to me, it's my daily driver. Uh, it's needed to get back and forth to work. Um, obviously, I needed a four door for a new addition to the family. No, he's not a Jedi yet. I've gone through this truck, um, put upper ball joints, lower ball joints in it. CV axles. It originally was a TRD. It's four wheel drive, automatic. V6. So it's probably worth noting uh, this has an aftermarket grill. It was uh, empty when I got it. Uh, one of my local trips to the dump, there was a 95 Toyota with a grill in it. I always wanted the Toyota letters and uh, well you can see what happened I think it's kind of cool bringing that 95 piece uh, out of 2007 a truck that was headed for the scrapyard gets to see another uh, gets to see another day I guess it's not perfect uh, it's part of my Toyota collection I do have three other Tacomas, all first gens. I love my Toyotas, guys. So what I'm trying to do today, I have a back rack that uh, I purchased off of one of my coworkers, came off a full-size truck. It sticks out a bit on each side of the cab. So I am planning on changing the mounting brackets for it, switching them left to right. This is how it originally was. I removed both sides, switched them, and I hope to gain some, uh, some material on the top of the box so I can bolt down through it. Uh, then I'll just cut the rest off with the grinder see how this works out so not only did I switch them left to right I moved them all the way out flush to the end of the back rack base so this should bring this mounting angle iron straight on top of the box go over and have a look at the other side So if I didn't bring it straight out, uh, it wouldn't miss the box, uh, the box rail. It does stick out a bit, uh, but I'm fine with that. Again, this is a, a work truck. Uh, it's going to help me build my cabin. It's not meant to be a show queen or anything pretty it just needs to be safe and dependable let me go grab the drill and uh, we'll drill a couple holes all right guys after a bit of frustration uh, I got uh, two bolts in each side the inside of the box on these trucks are fiberglass the fiberglass uh, resin is over underneath where it's sandwiched against the metal side. Uh, I had to take my drill with a abrasive bit to widen, widen open the holes. I put a washer underneath. Um, it's not gonna be super strong uh, without the plates, but it should do for my purposes to protect the back window and you know to, to tie stuff on to put uh, ladders on the back and so forth. I 
I ended up switching the brackets back to the way they were originally and drilled new holes. I don't think it looks that bad. Uh, I'll get a couple of pictures or a bit of video with it on and uh, you'll see how to fit a Ford rack onto a Toyota Tacoma. So here it is guys. The Ford F-250 uh, back rack made in Canada by the way installed on a 2007 Toyota Tacoma our local Toyota group sticker and Yoda trucks very sturdy as the camera shakes I think I'm fine with that overhang I'm very happy with how this turned out. My thoughts about cutting it down and tucking it behind the cab. For now, it's fine. My tailgate. This is a tailgate that was on the truck. It was cracked in a few places. I bent it back. Like I said, this truck is not pretty. It's meant for a, rock, a work truck. Welded it there. Took a piece of angle iron. Welded it to the top. Of course, trying to be retro. Stuck the Toyota on the back. I do have a pinion seal leaking. And what gave it away is all the, the oil specks in the dirt probably can't see it right now but there are oil specks in the dirt sure enough crawl underneath leaky pinion I guess that will be another video anyways I hope you enjoyed it it's my truck my project stay tuned if you're interested there will be lots more stuff on this Toyota my three other Toyotas, Honda Mini bikes, dirt bikes, skidoos. You get the idea. Thanks.